What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Plants vs. Zombies 2 and there's a new plant available right now for early access, the Blockily. Uh, hey, look at this. Blockily dual wields two sturdy floret shields, slamming them down to stun and block approaching zombies. Hey guys, Blockily here. What's going on? Here comes a zombie. I'm going to slam him with fists, says Blockily, and he really means it. He sounds like a YouTuber like me, right? Uh, so he's <laughs> commentating his own uh, gameplay here. I unlocked him. I got it, and I already have 25 because I watched a bunch of ads. <laughs> but he's level 1. Uh, I think level 2, the sun cost will drop or something, but right now he's 150. So he's, let's see, part of the, um, what's it called? It's uh, the Mint Family. Oh, it says what Mint Family, doesn't it? Didn't it? Reinforcement. There it is, right there. Part of the Reinforcement uh, family gets tougher, does more damage, and the stun goes up once that's activated. And so I kind of wonder if he's going to be really, really similar to the Head Butter Lettuce, but... Uh, instead, he's going to be part of the reinforcement family. Could be interesting to find out, but we are going to find out. I'm going to check him out right now. Look at the travel log. See what kind of challenge we have right now. Got a bunch of rewards right there. We probably have, yeah, play with Blockily. Next level. We're going to do this, and we'll take him across some uh, different levels just to kind of see what's up. Um, we'll see how Blockily works. Plant Blockily to smash and stun with blocking shields. So uh, maybe he's like a tougher headbutter less? I really don't know, but I love the design of broccoli. I mean, broccoli is one of the most common plants, like, right? Finally, they have a broccoli-themed plant. He looks really excited, too. Uh, so I'm going to, yeah, we're going to go with sun, obviously. And uh, let me plant another one. I really want to see what happens when, when the zombies get close. Let's see. Okay, wow. For one, he totally killed one of them. Oh, so it's just a one hit. And then it becomes a shield. Well, hold on. How come that one didn't get stunned? So wait, is it really just a one? Okay, there's another hit. There you go. Okay, okay. So the, so he alternates. Okay, now hold on. Is he going to get eaten? Like, what's, what's the play here? Okay, so he stuns them, but then he becomes a shield. So that's interesting. But it does do some pretty good damage. I imagine if this thing were like really, really upgraded, then holy cow, imagine. Just imagine. So I also want to see... He's like a... Okay, so that's, he's like an attacking... Okay. So really, I would want to compare him to the... Uh, is it the Endurian? Is what I would want to compare him to? He stuns, but then he attacks. I wonder... Let's do another one. Keep him, keep him going. But like, maybe alternating would be really ideal if you could, if you could time it right. He attacked, and there was no one there. Okay. So let's see. This one's gonna right, right after one of them attacks, I'll put another one down. I'm watching. I'm waiting. Okay, there you go, there you go, right? These are spaced out enough. I'm only using these. And this is a good way that it'll teach you. I hope they give me a level 10 to mess around with. That'll be really cool. All right, hold on, I'm, I'm ready. So far, so good. So these seem to be pretty darn tough. Of course, we will find out just how tough they are in a second here. I don't even know if they're gonna. Any of them are gonna get totally eaten. That okay. That was a. I don't have any plant food, so I don't really get to use. Uh, also, these take forever at the moment to spawn in. To refresh. So the, okay, hold on. They. The, okay, it's a wide. It's like a. It's like a maybe. Is it a three by three? I, it's a pretty wide uh, area that. Oh yeah, one of them got eaten, but they didn't show any signs of damage, so I didn't really understand that they were that they were. Did they not show signs of damage? I guess not. I I can't really tell. Hmm. Blockoli does damage and also blocks. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's do another one. And at the end of this, we'll get to upgrade to level two. And then we'll test it. You know, I love going to the, that Pirate Sea stage and just showing how they deal with a bunch of 
weaklings. They'll probably do fine, but it'll probably also take forever, I imagine, so... I'm pretty sure that the bok choy will, will destroy. The broccoli will block. I, I could probably beat this whole stage without even using the broccoli, but the point is to use the broccoli. Uh, and what this is teaching me is, hey, you can also use spike spike weed with, with uh, broccoli and, you know, really get it done. So I imagine that's going to be the lesson here. Okay, we got plant food. This is exciting, too. Boom. Anyone who steps on this is going to get messed up. Because my spike weed is really powerful. Yeah, so I'm not too worried about it. So, but what I want to do is, is see what happens when you use plant food. Because I wasn't really paying attention. Alright, let's do a plant food. Wow. Now look at it. Holy cow, that looks awesome. That I mean, that's strong. And I guess I'll go ahead and put in the spike weed there. But I think the spike weed is really going to do a bulk of legwork because it's level 6. But we'll see. We'll see over time. Alright. Okay, so now we're doing fairly good. Um, huh. That didn't really damage that, that guy that much. But I am putting in more spike weed just to get it done, you know? Boom. I bet this is a really fun plant to do. Because it's so big and it has like so many different layers. I bet the animation was a little difficult. Alright, so we got everything we need. I imagine most of these zombies are going to get taken care of before they even reach the uh, the broccoli in this instance. Yeah, they're getting destroyed. I want to get this one uh, powered up too. The uh, the metal kind of disappears temporarily when it makes it strike. Wonder why. Probably just an animated thing. An anime oh, whoa. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. So he stopped him. He's, okay, he was swooping in here with the wind or whatever it's called. And that block at least stopped him in his tracks. Okay, Gargantuars. Okay, I wasn't expecting this. Let's see how the Gargantuars deal. I was not really expecting this. Let's, uh. When he throws the imp, I want to be ready for it. Let's see how, uh, he handles the Gargantuar. I'm going to be ready in the back here. Okay, destroyed. Absolutely destroyed. I tried. Stuns them a little bit. There we go. Here he comes through. Here he comes through. Stun him again. Stun him again. Might as well buy us a little bit of time. There you go. Alright. So, uh, at the moment, they're not really a match for Gargantua at all. Um, so, let's go again. Okay, so they're having us go with this era. We're probably going to learn something about... Um, can't bring... I can't bring in, like, anything. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, so many things are off the table right now. Um, okay, let's bring in the gold leaf. So, uh... Hmm. wonder how much work the block is actually going to do here. I bet it's going to show me that the shovel guys still will shovel them up. But we will see. You know, I kind of want to start it with just the broccoli. Without really using anything else. And we get to use the mint this time as well. 
Boom. All right. Okay, okay, this guy's gonna set up camp. Uh, so, uh, I doubt that he's gonna get taken out before we have a chance to, before he, before he, you know, puts it out. Let's use this. Knock him back a little bit. I'm afraid, oh man, that would, yeah, I got one of them, dude, before he would, I, okay. Hold up. Okay, 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 we took them out. So wait, they all got their armor with that mint. Dude, he's gonna just, what's he doing? Oh no, he's attacking, he's not shoveling it up. So wait, 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 he's just attacking, he's not able to shovel up. Is it because he has the, uh, huh. I'm gonna put another one here. Oh boy, hold on, I need to put, put something back here too. I'm wondering if he's, okay, this is interesting. Oh, great. Okay, so this is this is getting out of hand. So he's not Oh, now there's a damage to the to the shell. I have a lot of sun right now. So I guess they're just not able to dig it up or something. I I don't know. Hey, the music though, the music is back in this game. You gotta love that. It's been for forever that I, since I've ever heard this song. They ate one of them. So the shovel guys do not shovel these up for whatever reason. Wow, you gotta love that, man. That is such an awesome mint. Let's do that again. I, uh, so, wow, yeah. Okay, I mean, we can, that's, I, I forgot about that mint. Being able to do that to activate the specials of those. All is looking good. Events. Uh, let's go ahead. Next level, Blockily. And uh, what else? Oh, they're giving us a level 10 Blockily. Okay. Can I bring in the mint? Dang, man. The mint would have been awesome. Uh, let's bring in some sun production and what the heck else do I want to bring in? Maybe electricity with the chickens or laser beans or something. Can I bring in electricity? So many are dis I can't bring in electricity. Okay, laser beans. Can I bring in laser beans? Wow, okay. Uh, let's just see how this goes. Oh, I start off with a lot of sun. Okay, that's good. Good to know. I didn't realize I would start out with a bunch of sun. So this Blockily is going to, you know, basically recharge pretty quickly. Because it's a level 10. Okay, wow. So you got to keep in mind that a lot of the damage is going to be done by the laser beans as well. So at, once I have all of the Blockily up... So he's stunned. Once I... Okay, they destroyed chickens pretty well. These guys, oh, so these guys, since since they're level 10, they're just like always on the attack. Okay, okay, this is awesome. Let's, after after all the Blockly are out, I'm gonna probably get rid of laser beans and just see how the Blockly holds on its own. Okay, we got lucky. Okay, so no, they're, I thought they attacked faster than that, hold on. This is weird. Okay, so wait, is he gonna hit me contact? Dude, he destroyed the Blockly. So they still destroy the Blockly, so I'm not going to remove the uh, laser beans right now. Okay, here's a question. Next time I see one charging in, I'm going to use plant food on it. Oh, there may not be another one. Hold on. Where's another one? Where's another one? Is there another all-star coming in? No? Okay, well, we're holding our own then. Yeah. 
Yeah, these block leaves are doing some pretty good damage. It's hard to tell how much damage has been done. Now these guys are gonna get smashed probably by the uh, by the gargantuars, right? Oof. So really, it is just a, a stunning plan. This is not as, I mean like, head butter lettuce is, I think, better. Because it does the butter, which stops him for a while. And then it also just keeps attacking. This attacks, but is tougher. So this is kind of like a tougher, but weaker head butter lettuce with a different, from a different class of, of plant. That's what I would say. But it does stun, and sometimes we have challenges like stun, you know, X amount of zombies, and and that would be helpful. But I, does the butter count as a stun too? I don't even know. Don't let the zombies trample the flowers. Okay. So yeah, that'll be another use for it. Um, okay. So we're gonna bring this in. They're really limiting what I'm allowed to bring in, but that's fine because it it kind of helps me narrow my focus down to just just showcasing the blockly. It's level one blockly right now, by the way. Uh, we got lily pads. We need sun production, so I will bring in sun production. Uh, I guess laser. I don't know, man. Laser beans, something to, to strike all of them, and then maybe something to do. Bowling bulbs are really helpful in this type of situation. Um, can I bring in Tingle Kelp? Yeah, there you go. Let's see this happen. I don't know that I actually need Lily Pad, but we're going to see what's up. All right, we got a lot of sun production out, so that's good. Gonna get some block elite more. Out. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay. Uh. So yeah, I'm gonna grab that. Fine. Gonna be taking my sun a little bit at a time, I imagine. So. All right, so one of the things is going to be try to get, try to get uh, more block leaves out there, but they cost 150, so. So he's attacking no matter, oh, so yeah, okay. Uh-oh, here comes this guy. Okay, so they're moving the mushrooms already. I I feel like I can beat them. Hold on, let me let me speed things up a little bit. I feel like I'm beating them no matter what, like with just the laser beans and the and the bowling bombs. But the blockies are there just in case things get really out of hand. I I, I guess. Okay, so the, okay. I suppose we're doing okay. Uh, boom, oh my God, so many, so many guys are around. Hold on, <laughs> he moved the mushroom for me, so I, so we're, we're doing pretty well. The, bro the broccoli is being kind of protected almost by the, by the, by the mushrooms. From the fishermen. So Gargantua got stunned, and I follow through with the plant food on the bowling ball, and we got him. Okay. I'm not sure if Blackley's one of my favorites, but he looks he's like visually he's awesome looking. But I just don't know how much I would use him over something like the head butter lettuce. Uh, so yeah, that's a real mystery. Well, let me go ahead and see. Uh, well, we got him upgraded. Where we're going to get them upgraded because we have enough seed packets right now.
And then let's see let's see what happens. So he drops in sun cost, he becomes tougher, he does more damage. Okay. So, um let's take him uh maybe across a couple levels. I'm not really sure. I mean I'm not really sure what to do, but let's take him across a couple levels here, and then we'll end with the pinata party if we remember. I do want to do the pirate seas just to see how he handles it. I imagine he'll handle it pretty well, but it will probably just take forever. So let's just see. Because he's tough. He's not going to get eaten. But we'll see. We'll see. Because there's going to be a huge horde of imps. So we'll actually, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Level 22 is the level that I like to do, in case you were wondering. So we're not going to be able to attack the cannons in the back, but we will have everything else. So just bring in whatever. It doesn't really matter. We don't use anything else but the Blockily, because that's the point of it. So we're going to get at least four columns out of this. Okay. Let's rock. Let's just see what happens. I mean, again, I'm going to fast forward because I'm pretty sure this is going to be painstakingly slow. Because we're not going to be able to hit the cannons directly. So we just... Yeah, so that's good. So so what confuses me is when does it decide to lock down? You know what I mean? Like, it hits them, but then it lets go. But sometimes it hits them and then becomes a shield. Is it If they're close, they're a shield. If they're not close, they just hit them. So those guys did not stay as a shield. I guess if they're still alive, they become a shield. That's interesting. So, like, I guess that's what we're learning here, is that if they're still alive, they'll be a shield. But if they're not, then they'll just keep on hitting. So that, okay, that answers that question, because I was really confused at what was causing the difference. Because sometimes they would attack, sometimes they would... So if their zombies are still... So that's what we learned by doing this. If the zombies are still there, they'll just be a shield. They won't keep attacking. So that's interesting. So if you do... So these actually excel exceptionally well against weak zombies because if they do take them out then they're just back and ready to strike again okay okay so these I mean perhaps more so oddly more so than other plants they excel against weaker plants because then they'll come back they'll, they perform better against weaker zombies is what I'm saying because they'll come back in striking pose they'll be ready to strike again very soon but stronger zombies they do worse against because they'll go into a shield but they'll still do the initial strike of damage, which is interesting. Okay. That's really interesting. And, you know, it wasn't super clear in the description that that's what they did. So we just, this is one of the things that we learn as we take it out and experiment with it. So yeah. Okay. Well, come on out, Imps. Do everything. Just explode and just come out here, please, because we're ready. Oh, oh, so so wait, so, uh, some imps survived, so he's in shield form. All right, some of these imps have survived. Okay, there we go. That's really interesting. Or just the timing of it, like they hit and then like some more imps come out. So yeah, so these, okay, so yeah, he, the any surrounding it are still, okay, wow, wow. These imps are kind of going deep, but there you go. Wow. Okay. That's pretty cool. Are there any other stages that we would want to even test out? I don't even know, man. Such an interesting conundrum to deal with. So let, let's let me take a look. I mean, I I think the dark ages would be fine. 
But they wouldn't keep hitting in the Dark Ages because, like, the the Kingmakers come out, then they're just going to be in that form. Frostbite Caves, I'm not sure what I would learn there. I'm not sure what I would learn in Lost City. We already did a Lost City Sage Far Future. They'd probably get pushed by the All-Stars, I imagine. Uh, we could double-check, though. No, that's not what I meant to do. I'm pretty sure they're going to get pushed by All-Stars if, if uh, by, the, by whatever they're called. Is 23 the last stage? Is this one where I got to farm a bunch of sun or something? I always forget. Uh, there might be a state. There might be a level here that I like to not do. Okay, this is fine. We won't spend a lot of plants. Right, but are there the all star? No, they're not. I really want the all stars to be here. So let me exit to map. Because uh, I want to see what happens when they push. I'm assuming they push just like any other plant, but they're so big and bulky. I wasn't really expecting the shovel guy to not be able to dig them up. And so that's something that we learned. Uh, you know, that we wouldn't have known. So let's go ahead and see what's up with that. Okay, this is, okay. They produce a lot of sun. Are the all-stars here? Where are the freaking all-stars, dude? Okay, hold on. <laughs> I can't believe, I'm just like, come on, where are the all-stars? Where are they at? Um... 18? I'm trying to find him, trying to track him down here. Don't mean to be wasting your time, but. Okay, I produce a lot of sun. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. There we go. So I, I'm just curious if they'll put, you know, if they'll push. So, so they're always at the bottom. There we go. If things get really messy, I'll teleport him back. I gotta produce a lot of sun, so I'm just gonna bring in like the twin. Sunflowers and the gold blooms and the uh, solar sage. Where's the gold bloom? Imitated gold blooms. We're going to really make use of this. And then the twin sunflowers. <laughs> so <laughs> basically, I'm only using the. Uh, yeah, okay. This will be messy, but let's, let's just make it happen, huh? Okay, so. Uh, well, wait. Probably we wouldn't. I don't know. We'll probably be fine. I should have brought in some plant, some plant food stuff, but I didn't. So. Boom. You know, I maybe should have had them pushed up a little bit. I don't know. He's eating him, but he, he did do some damage. So he's... Okay, that's interesting. I really should have brought in plant food, but I didn't. Dude, he's not doing anything. That's weird. So I planted him a little late, and now he's not doing anything at all to stop him. Okay, let's come back for a second. Oh boy. Yeah, these things are gonna be so, but they, they, they took them out really quick. Oh, but one of them is a, is survived, so. Boom. We are gonna probably produce enough sun, I imagine. There we go. We made more than enough sun. We're in a good spot here. So uh, that's in. Here, let's fast forward really quick. So he's still stunned. Here, take a step back for a second. I I don't actually want these. I I I want the all star to come out really soon. Look at all that sun. All right, I'm just gonna put one here. Okay, he gets pushed just fine. Huh, okay, well, lesson learned, I guess. Yeah, he's, he's getting pushed just fine. I don't know why I put that there. All right, come back, come back to me. 
There you go. There you go. I don't know why I made that. I just wanted to. Come here, dude. This is gonna be fine. I mean, we're not really learning anything here. I guess we could learn, hey, does this destroy the shields? Yeah, they do. They destroy shields, so. Yeah, shield's gone. Okay, he's he's gone. I do want to be. Let's get a little hasty here, and then let's let's. There you go. Bot swarm. Bots get taken out quick. This one's still alive though. Somehow he managed to survive the onslaught. Boom. All right, final wave. We're just getting it over with. I like how the pinata bursts out of the, the last enemy you beat. That's super cool. So yeah, I'm not really sure what else there is to learn about the Blockoli. If you guys have thought of something that I haven't thought of, let me know in the comments below because that would be something interesting. Like if there's anything else, unique about him I think everyone all the viewers would want to know I'm just trying to think I'm trying to I'm kind of racking my brain right now over it let's uh let's see dark ages makes it toward Jurassic Marsh I mean I'm pretty confident it's not going to do we already did a big way beach level modern day I'm pretty confident it's not going to do anything to the dinosaurs obviously um but it will probably slow down. Like the, the dinosaurs push them forward. This could probably slow them down, stop them in their tracks, and that would be something interesting to note. Uh, let me just see what the. I always forget, you know, what we're doing here. Let's see. 30. It's level 30, good stage to test in Jurassic Marsh. So, yeah, okay. So here's some. I'm going to actually imitate this. The, the Blockily, because of the fact that I'm going to want a lot out. If the, if the Pterodactyl is going to be dropping off in the back, I want to see what happens to the zombies who approach him from the back. Is there any consequence? Or does he... Is he even... I don't think he's able to attack backwards, but we'll see in just a bit if he can. Um, so, laser beans, electricity. I mean, I can bring him what I want now, right? Well, I, you know what? I, hmm, I, I kind of want to be a little relaxed on this because I don't necessarily want to... Um, Let's see, I'm gonna bring that in. I don't, I don't want to attack him too much, you know, and then. Hey, let's bring back an old friend. There you go, Primal Sunflower. I used to I used to use Primal Sunflower all the time. This will help and just in case things get out of hand. Um Yeah, this is good. Uh, I'll bring in a gold bloom too. I don't think I could, wait, could I have rented a plant? Could I have rented the buttercup yet? I'll check in a second. All right, so we're gonna do blockily and blockily. These are free, so I'm just gonna do them. I'm gonna try to rush out the, blo the blockily as quickly as I can. To have a good frontline defense. I just notice how I built it out a little bit. That will give the dinosaurs uh, ample opportunity to actually push them forward a little bit. So, so we're going to see what happens here. So, pterodactyl coming out. Oh, gosh. Okay, we're already... So, look at that. This is what we're learning. He's coming from behind. The Blockly can't do a thing. But I am curious, like, what if I put it in the way... You know, the very back. So, we'll look in a second. I'm pretty sure, like, that's just... So if it's in the very back, then maybe... Because he's the Blockily doesn't even get into any sort of position to block if they're from behind. Which is also interesting. Uh, let's see this. 
So we're doing something here. Oh, I should have brought in the mint. What am I thinking? The mint's like the best part sometimes. But whatever. Here, we're gonna get everyone out. Get everyone out for this. I wanna see I wanna see now what happens. I don't know if there's gonna be any more pterodactyls, but I wanna see how this reacts. So obviously this dinosaur is gonna kick him forward. I wanna see if the block leak can somehow stop that from happening. Let's see, let's see. Nope, it kicks him right over the, the block lead. It kicks him right over. <laughs> it does, no, does nothing to stop them. Okay, so that's fine. It's not like the block is super strong or anything, but still. I'm, I'm almost hoping there's another pterodactyl. Here, come on. Everyone back. I... Give me another pterodactyl or something, dude. Nice. Got him. Uh, Report back. Give me a pterodactyl. I don't know if they will, but just, just try it. Not seeing any pterodactyls, so. I was really hoping to see another pterodactyl, but that's okay. We saw that, like, when the zombies approach them from behind, like, there's nothing the block we even reacts to. They can, it probably can't see over its uh, florets. <laughs> That's what they called, right? Florets, rockly florets. <laughs> I, don't, I think. All right, just gonna. I'm just taking back over here. Boom! I I don't know if there's gonna be any more pterodactyls. This blue dinosaur might run away though. Yeah, I'm surprised I'm not seeing any more pterodactyls. Boom. Let's do another one. All right. So we've learned something. And I thank you all for being here. I really do. Thanks for watching. Let's do the pinata party before we end today's episode. Just because it's Valen Brains. Happy Valentine's, by the way, everyone who's still watching. Thank you so much for s s spending time with your loved one, Zach Scott Games. <laughs> all right. Let's, uh, let's do this. So I gotta go cook dinner soon. Uh, let's do it. Celebrate Valenbrains. Valenbrains. And uh, we're just going with whatever they, whatever they give us. Blooming Hearts just go in the back. This is like literally like the the one time I use Blooming Hearts is is for Valenbrains. Freeze him. This thing does damage too, right? It doesn't just... Yeah. It has to, otherwise these other guys wouldn't be passing out. Alright, good stuff, good stuff. Let's do... Hey, what's... There you go. Blooming Heart's a plant that I think should be buffed. You know, sometimes they buff them. Sometimes they do. You know, they, they buff the... Uh, what did they buff last time? My mind's drawing a blank. They buffed something recently. And by recently, I mean within the year. <laughs> I think maybe two years. I don't remember. It's been a while. Uh, are we done? You want to be done? All right. One, two, three. Oh, we got oh ten of the uh, the, the the new tiger uh, grass. That's pretty cool. What did they buff recently? Was it Chomper that they buffed? I think they buffed Chomper somewhat recently, like within the past year or two. Uh, they might have buffed something else. Uh, oh, they buffed the Torchwood. That's right. 
They buffed the torch wood to, to make him explode. Anyway, thank you for watching. I will see you all next time for more. Oh, wait, I did have a question. This was, uh, here, let me, uh, this would be, uh, let's see if I can. Can I rent the buttercup right now? I don't know if I can or not, but let me, let me see if I can. Because that'll be like a sneak peek into, you know, the next, the next plant that we have. I mean, yeah, so that'll be like a month away. But if I can't rent it, I can't rent it, and that's fine. Darn, I can't rent it. I can't rent it. There was that one time I could rent like a plant that wasn't even out yet, but not this time. I'll see you all next time for more Plants vs. Zombies 2. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.com. Dot shop. Come back next time for more.